Hello there, y'all. Cody here. I bought uh, Sea of Stars. I love a good uh, JRPG. I've heard nothing but good things, and it just looked super awesome, so I figured it'd be a fun uh, game to do a Let's Play on. So Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. Okay. Is that a double-headed spear? Okay. A blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solim. Okay. A monk born on the winter solstice, blade dancer, okay. A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luena. Okay. Well, I like moon stuff and whatever. I think they're in the they're both like the main characters, right? Why make me choose if it doesn't matter though? I wonder if you get a different start, like story-wise. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. A lot of books, bro. But perhaps you knew that already. I did not know that. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. God, that is such a weird word. I always forget there's an H and H in it. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. Friends? Friendship? Love? As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mist of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder. But mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the thrones of the Fleshmancer. Ugh. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find here. Find there. Ah, yes. A story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations pri prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is not. that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Sounds complicated. Mountain trail. Like, just look at the graphics, though. Like, look at how good that looks. Ugh. Beautiful. Alright, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. Yep. Ah. Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. I feel like she said that in like a mocking tone now. All the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ah, yeah. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Ah, okay. Time for some scouting. <clears throat> Oh no. Yep, it's a double-bladed spear. 
I'm coming through. Okay. So I have to one shield. Throw. So he attacks. Okay, so there's a turn counter. Well, they have attacks. Yeah, there's a combo meter I read about. I don't know what that slot thing was. Rue Graves? Wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. What happens if I try to go this way? Okay, Zale's got that side covered. The graving has worn out, but it definitely mentions a rite of passage for children of the solstice. The Elder Mist. Oh yeah, there's climbing. It, it said it was very much like into adventure and stuff like that. God, just, wow, it looks so good. Uh oh. That guy. He's gonna attack me when I climb up? What is that? It's like a. like a rock golem sheep thing? Roach? Roachervé? I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Ouch. Tough one, eh? Let's try this. Skill. Ooh, smashes enemies in an arc. Lunar magic projectile that can bounce between multiple targets and it's called Lunar Ring? Sounds awesome. 14, okay. He was vulnerable to that. Valerie found anything. Just a dead end, how about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over here, I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Is that a sandwich? Press A to unroll rope ladders. Easy peasy. Wonder if it's always that route, or if you get to go this way as the other guy. Hey, okay, cave. Cool. Okay, loving the monster variety already. Oh, okay. Rocks just let off a couple deucers there. Do I attack it? And I just walk into it. I thought since I could see him on the, um, the thing, I might be able to uh, like surprise attack him, you know? So he's gonna do that in two turns. Okay, so I don't have a sword, so I can't do the sword thing. I might as well do this. It looks like my stuff is resetting after each fight. That's what these rocks were. Uh, you again, eh? I, see, I can literally see you. Oh, are we gonna tag team fight him? Hmm, those bushes were... ...blowing. I wonder if we can collect those. Ah, uh, but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still the, still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took me once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting into trouble. And making mistakes. Sorry, Valerie, I didn't mean... It's just Valerie, right? It's just spelled differently than how I've ever seen it spelled. It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... Wish he had said goodbye, you know? 
after ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. Aw, oh, poor fella. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Okay, so they have a friendo that they miss. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. Kind of a cool name. Oh, the little their little sprites were different because they were little kids. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. Well, we'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Isle Island. I want to see the sleeper. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. What's that? Never heard of the sleeper? Oh, Carl, tell me. Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. Okay, we're okay, we're definitely gonna at least see the serpent and maybe fight it later, I imagine. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. I'm gonna doubt on that one, friend. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Erlina and Brewgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Let's... Oh, is this how you save? Okay, very cool. Yeah, I might as well do that. A party? Okay. Ooh. Does that have a date next to it? Date and time? Okay, well, y'all can see when I'm recording this, then. That's funny. Okay. Oh, there's a how to play thing? I'll figure it out. I'm not that worried. This music is nice, too. Might as well see what's in here. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Is that all you gotta say? Yep. Okay. Ooh, I like the little light source. Like, look at that. Oh, that is so nice. Ah. I haven't played a good, like, RPG in forever. Well... Baldur's Gate 3 was amazing. I don't know why I said that, but like a JRPG style. We pick that up. No secret passage. Okay. Can't go down the wall. This. We're not getting into trouble again. Oh, we definitely are. Don't worry about that. Hey, wait! Uh... That was a cool little cutscene. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa. Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. Okay, so that's the Zale's teacher. What about you, Valerie? Have you tra been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here, then. Interesting. So it can only... I guess it's going to tell us, but I imagine that since they're born on the solstices that they're stronger than ever stronger in the magic than other people are like more in tune with it well easy now i can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out it looks like she's just like running like headbutting his arm like just 
running into it like whatever that dinosaur is that's got the metal not the metal head but the flat stone head or whatever I oh, know Zeke fell over that was awesome Zale you did it she looks not amused <laughs> her face Headmaster Moraine. Ooh, guy's got a cool beard. Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Can we go? Yeah. Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you had it. <laughs> Let's go. Bur Bruge Bruges? I, t I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cave again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you to and for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it up. Yeah, you can always ask for forgiveness later, right? I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Assume we're supposed to go this way. Ooh, I like the little like lunar solar thing there with the flames. Oh, ooh, is that a world ship? We'll have to get one of those too, right? Flagship. Yeah, we can save if we want to. I eh, might as well just in case, right? Okay. Oh god, that sound effect was so nostalgic. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. Hey, Garl's just like me. Loves the snacks. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Yeah. And I like when you try to <laughs> when you try to find a movie or something to watch with your snack. You waste a snack if you don't have a movie to go with it, and you don't. the movie's not as good if you don't have a little treat. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Okay. Here, what'd you make? A sandwich. I need to make a sandwich. I haven't had a good sandwich in a while. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam I used, a bit of sap from the Celestial widow, Willow. Could get in trouble for that. Yeah, but it's delicious. Only if you tell. Nope. Remember, it's only illegal if you get caught. Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina or er Erlina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrate. You got this, Valerie. Valor. Gotta be Valor, right? What else would that name be? Did she do it? Oh. Well, oh, that was weird. My controller vibrated. I haven't played a game with vibrate enable in a while. I knew it. It worked. I did it. I finally did it! There we go, okay. So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter, it can't it can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. We're we gonna cause like some sort of like 
Is this going to be like a kickoff event for the rest of the adventure? Ooh, look at how cool those mushrooms look. Like we're going to release some ancient monster or something. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. <laughs> his little hands on his head. Guess that only that's only true for our moon cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Bum, bum, bum. Watch out, there's another one. Oh, she looks pretty scared there. This is bad, we're all surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I, I don't know, just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something! Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on! Valerie, watch out! Yeah! No! Garl! My eye! It really hurts! Oh dang, you got you get poked at the horn? I can't see! There's no escape. It's about to attack again! So it was you. Okay. So the headmaster, super strong, looks like. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. No, but he's our friend. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye... Was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Aw, poor girl. He's crying. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long, like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way! But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting Involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never! We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Poor girl. We're gonna get onto the the airship thing that was there, right? Ooh, magic elevator, cool. The elevator gave me Golden Sun vibes. Y'all ever play Golden Sun? God, freaking loved Golden Sun one and two, so good. I hope one day we'll get another one, but I doubt it. Like a spiritual successor even would work. Like just the magic combat system, and that was so good. Welcome to the Zenith Academy. 
In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warrior. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper in introduction is in order. Careful now. Another magic elevator. Uh, welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I agree, Zeke. Zale? How do I keep trying to call him Zeke? I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I open the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Okay, makes sense. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before in Zale 2 from what er Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. What, is the, what do the parentheses mean there? Does that mean like he's thinking to himself? Ah, got it. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at the Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. Of the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to, to cleanse. Alright. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, studying but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Is that like sewing in our sense, or is it like some sort of like magical like weave sewing thing? That sounds boring. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enriched piece of fabric. Oh, okay. The staple of the solstice warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. Okay. Well, so the Fleshmancer is the big bad. But first, you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist. Or it alone may officially grant you the title of the Solstice Warrior. Okay, so that's what we're doing currently, right? Or what we were doing before the flashback? Sewing. I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Ooh, interesting. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Oh, interesting. I didn't expect us to play around with them as little kiddos. Alright, I already forgot where he said the beds were. Like a fighting area? Well, there you are. Rain finally decided that you were ready. Okay, can we climb these ladders? Okay. So this is like a training area, it looks like. 
little swords there and stuff for us to fight with in the arena. No guardrails, huh? Hey, a little cozy little little nook there. I remember when Erlina and Brew Graves were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Ugh, I feel old now. Okay, we can save there. Wait, what happens if I try to go to the sun side? What I thought. <laughs> can I grab that crystal? Sewing basics. Okay, alright, so nothing to really do here, it looks like. Go to sleep? Yes. Alright, we're about 30 minutes in. The next morning in the training room. Yep. Good morning, fellas. Brew Graves! So you'll be our trainer? Graves. It's not Graves. It's, there's no R there, Cody. Brew Graves? Graves? I, I don't know. I do not know how to pronounce his name. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Training sword? Okay. Training staff, okay. Alright, let's get to work. Huff, huff. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up. Never. Turbo mode. Come on, Zale. Keep up. I, I can do this. They shifted into maximum overdrive. Ugh. Dang, a hundred push-ups and crunches, huh? That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Where's the terrace? And I guess it's up, right? Because we know the rooms are to the right. Nope. Yep, okay, there we go. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? You bet it. You bet I am. feel as something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. No. Oh. Now mine's gone too. Okay, just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One. Two. Three! I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there, you just did the hardest part. those horns are from is that just like like cow horns or something or did she get them from a monster i'm sure training will go well but one more thing no matter what the headmaster teaches you remember that this is your life and erlina since you're done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic i would provide the briefing for your next assignment oh. Hmm. 
As for you two, it's time about... It, uh, messed that one up. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> that was fast. What are you doing? I'll just walk around for a bit. Okay. Just a bunch of old books. Okay, just a bunch of old books. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go hear some sort of conversation over here that I'm not supposed to hear. Like, as the the character's not supposed to be. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know that, you know the three of us can take the one on Wrath Island. We don't need them. Prudence, or er, Prudence, or er, Lena. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zell were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such thing, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moira? What about the twins? True games! Well, he's angry. Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go Brewgraves games. Old B. Probably just gonna start calling him B instead. I don't I know I'm not saying his name right. How does he not see me? It looked like it was a shoot short wall. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Okay, we're push up in, we're wall climbing. Faster now. Look like he's doing the worm. Focus, and then release. They've got a lot more magic there, right? It was just sparkles last time. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Ooh, spooky. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world leader, cleansing always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? What, they're immune? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valerie? What happened with the Dweller of Strife and who's Moira? That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valerie, wake up. Zayo, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. Well, alright.
the door open up here? Oh, what is that? There's like a balcony there? Hey, look! Oh, smells good. There's a note. No, girl. Bill, Valerie, and Zale. If you're reading this, it's probably because I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies field filled with celestial willow jam you liked. Aw. Yeah, aw, indeed. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. I love that it's him writing the letter for the little uh, character profile picture there thing. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Carl. Oh. Carl's the best. Seems pretty cool. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got the cookie jar. Aw, oh, cute. Oh my god, I could not sit near the edge like that. They're so high up, right? Like, ugh. Just the thought of it, like, just made my stomach, like, oof. Miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cave. Yeah, is he gonna have, like, a... Is his eye gonna be okay? Is he gonna have, like, a cool eye patch when we see him or something? Haha, ah, you're probably right. I imagine we're gonna see him again, right? We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. So they trained and sewed for years. And they trained and sewed some more. Until one day. Zale, that's the one! Oh, what was that? I can feel it too. Hold on. Okay. Alright, I think I got it. Let's go see the headmaster. Okay. So they're just like little shawls or something? Like he's wearing his on around his waist and she's got hers. Kind of like a scarf sort of thing? God, dude, this music. Ugh. Oh. Just sounds so good. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingle of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. Yeah! Ooh, no more sewing! I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Nice. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Arena B are ready here are are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them. It will be time for your final test. Okay. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Ah, uh, sure. We might as well just to be on the safe side. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to stop them. Oh, is that what the little slot thing was that was popping up? If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. 
Valerie can do blood damage and Zale has slicing. Okay. Let's see you break this one. Okay, so... Okay, so they don't have to be in the order that they're up there. Ah, oh, looks like in each one of our turns is a countdown for it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So she's got like pyramid magic or something? Just like that. Now, some spells will demand magic to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. They offer Sun and Valerie for Moon. Okay. Moon Ring. Press A to deflect. <sighs> this is the greatest game I've... Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so cool. Hold A for power. Oh, and I, I bet if I release it when it flashes, it's like a critical hit type situation, right? Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack. Oh. Well, that charges my MP a little bit. Did you feel that? You got, you've just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds. A regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock, breaking especially, build your combo energy. Okay. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Rain told me to... You came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Solstice Strike. Dual attack. Each regenerate 3 MP. Ooh, okay. Nice. Yeah, you're strong, alright. That's so cool, dude. I'm so excited. I love that combat. I love it. Got the Mario RPG, Paper Mario action stuff. Such a nice touch to see in these. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Oh. Check in with them, then it'll be time for your final test. Want to review combat basics? Sure. Wait, is that what I just did? Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Okay. Okay, I can cycle. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. Okay. When all party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Guess we just attack. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press A as the hit connects for increased damage. Oh, what? Messed that up. That was two students. Stay focus and press as the hit connects. Good. Let's see that one more time. Very cool, okay. That was always something I really liked in Legend of the Dragoon. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of time hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. Okay, interesting. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Okay, get ready. Per se is the hit connects reduce damage. Nope. 
to no, to really again. Nope, ah, man, I thought I had it that time. As it's in the arc, I got it. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. Okay. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all of the time. Not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is to remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. Dang it, I messed it up. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the start of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. That's cool. Fight and survive until Zale returns. I did it too early again. Ah, trying to double combo it. Ah. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure you'll the exam will be a breeze. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test? We're ready. Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. I will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Nope. Oh, yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Sale. Hmm, okay. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blaze blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie, I did it. Now it's your turn. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Three tomato clubs. Gotta be a sandwich, right? A tomato club sandwich, right? Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as new recruits of our order. We're skydiving? What? I'm ready. You. Let's just go for it. Cool. Magic, I guess. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Jump in, we're jumping. Is this like a little, our first little dungeon here? Nice. Get a, get the chest over here. Ornate stone. Um, that's a good looking that's a good looking sandwich right there it's a brazz academy oh okay it was in here can't interact with that anymore
Ah. Just a split second too early. Okay, so he heals HP. Some experience might go in here and but there's nothing there right. parkour time okay nothing to the sides whoa wait, wait. that's okay that's just a part of the railing jump in jump in so we need to get the stone for that. Nice. Absolutely terrifying, by the way. You would never catch me doing that. Oh, I forgot about the A thing. Nice. Blocked about what three damage there? Let's get wrecked. Uh, now nah, we're fine. We'll finish this. I'll save my MP for the next fight. Nice, killing it. Well, we might as well use the combo, right? I think I got the A timing right on that one. Oh, nice. One more fight, realistically, and then we level up. Okay. We lit the elevator up. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? You don't think we should at least try and explain? Seeing how strong they are, word will be a sh weird will be a sh walk in the park. Let's see them off then. Is word who we're gonna fight at the end of the dungeon? I wonder. Uh oh, word. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Ooh, he's like a. Like a golem or something? Shuffle, weakness, physical. Arc, lunar magic. Okay, so I can press A to deflect. Resist, okay. Shuffle, weakness, physical. Vulnerable, oh, okay. I should have just been wailing on him. Okay, he's weak to moon now. Little too early on that one. Okay, he's weak to physical, so I shall attack him. Okay, so we need two sword attacks. So we should have Zale go first. Oh, if I can't. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I didn't expect it. Uh, to hit twice like that. And Zael's sword, so we want that again.
Nice. Finish him off with the combo. We leveled up as well. Ooh, I like this level up. Okay, so we can gain more mana. Okay, so we get flat stat increases and then we can choose one to upgrade. Okay, she's got no magical defense, but I don't know how important that is. Mana's cool, but since we get so much back, I don't know how important that is. Eight hit points is a lot. I think we just go physical, right? Okay, magic. Oh, and it's different. Look, he's getting different stuff here. Got a little bit of HP already. Hmm. Could get... make him a little tankier. He does have a healing spell, so that is interesting. He does have a lot less mana, and he's got a heal, so I wonder how important that is for him. Hmm. Probably doesn't matter too much. Should I just go physical attack again? Like, defense is good if I want to keep him alive again, because he's got- a, he just has the healing spell right now. But I think I'm just going to go physical attack on both. We'll be doing that a lot, no matter what. Since it, that's how we get our mana back, which I love that as a concept. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Okay. Very cool. Can I talk to him again? Okay, it just says the same thing. You got anything back here, buddy? Nope. I uh, just jumped down. Nice. Oh, that's what was back there. Congratulations, B and Zale. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! Ah, we did it! In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Ooh, I like that tree. Like the leaves, and it's got that cool. Is that the sap from it? It's on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of their importance are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Yeah, where is Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, V and Zale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. So the Great Eagle is like a metaphor, right? It's not like an eagle actually dropped him off, like a stork situation. Hmm. Oh, I remember Gran was so happy to meet you two. More before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Maybe it literally was a Great Eagle that dropped him off. B and Z. Step forward so the people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will so soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warrior. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we'll have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Valerie, Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, 
and you shall enter the world as true solstice warriors. May Luna's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, I should keep you fed for a bit. Three more tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you should take a look at these. Amulet of Storytelling. Sequent Flare. You've just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic selection of the game's menu, accessible with Y to adjust your experience. Okay. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Okay, that's kind of cool. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants selling any valuables you find. will keep you well fed and well equipped. Okay. Now wherever your adventurers take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep training for a dire cleansing Cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for ya. We were much older the first time. Yeah, but... We'll find a way. Save journeys and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! Oh, there's a chest there. How do I get the chest? And we're back at the Forbidden Cave. Okay, so opened it easy peasy that time. It feels easier now. This time we make it through. Bring it on, you weird slug things. No, they're not here. Okay. Uh, this looks like the bottom. Yep. So that's a way down. Okay. Can't go through there. Okay. So there's a jump across for that. Can we push this? Nope. I knew it! I knew I could attack first. Okay. Oh, I should have used her slash attack. Yes. Ah, messed up. That's sun only. I messed up. Let's combo this guy, okay? We lose it either way, right? So we might as well use it. I'm way too early on that one. Are we healed? We are not. Okay, I'll get that back at the next combat. Gotta climb up this. Parkour. Aha, interesting. Locked into place now. Oh, is that just like another way down? You sure I can't like push this or something? Hmm. All right, game. I guess. I guess that's just another way down. Shimmy shimmy. Venture is best. Okay. 30 adventurers agree. This vest is the best. I love it. Okay, so she's got seven defense. 
Ooh, you get a bunch of different rings? Okay. I feel like just because he's got the healing spell, I should let him have more defense. Ah, he missed the attack. Okay. Huh, so I can't hit all three of them. Interesting. Way too early on that one. Alright, well we killed one of them at least. Spike shower, huh? Oh, that's cool. I gotta press it for each one. Neat. Cost four. That's fine. Better reach for now. Let's look around. Sorry, I didn't read that. That didn't seem that important. My bad. Like, story wise, at least. Cave key, okay. Nice snowfall damage is cool. Ooh. Mushroom soup, okay, thank you. Oh, it's in a little picnic basket. Mending light, okay. I see. HP. Okay, very cool. Oh, and they have cost so that cost one, that cost two. Almost missed that chest. Okay. Well, that's a what was that? Shiny. Valuable meant to be sold. Okay. Great tooltips so far in the game. Okay, so we climb up here. Okay, that takes us all the way to the bottom if we want. Leeching Thorn. Okay, um, sure, she's just got less health for now, so I'll put that on her. I'm going this way. This looks like this would take me back to the starting area though. Ah, but it opens the door. Got it. Ah. Um. Ah, because of their spacing. Ah, that was horrible. Alright, well I took one of them out. Nice. I love that we get our MP back just by doing our normal attacks. So cool. Let you just spam the cool abilities like you want. Uh oh. The device is broken, we can't activate the bridge. 
There seems to be a detour through there to the left. Worth a shot. set up camp. What's that do? Darn, could have rested here and uh, kept my sandwich. You probably say there's probably a boss coming up, right? It's like we're in some sort of spider web thing. Sounds big, get ready. Uh, what is that? We haven't seen anything that looks like that before. So I get... I guess I should just attack? Just in case it has a big attack next turn. Oops. Dune, okay. Ah. Chill out. Um, will I make it to another? I think I just want to fill up the combo meter and heal both of them next turn. Apparently, that's not gonna happen. And Lunar Ring. I wonder if that's the max. I feel like I could hit it. I feel like I hit that last one pretty well. Okay, that's uh that mending light all of us. That was, that was pretty cool. That was a lot of health, too. Wow. That's yeah, a pretty good combo so far, I think. You know, I could probably use his big attack at this point, huh? Attacked with the wrong. Okay, no, I didn't. Ring. Uh, I think I'll just save it up for the heal again. Go for the the dual strike? Nah, I should just heal, right? Ah, 
Okay. Well, it's only saving. Well, I'm, I'm hitting one of them and missing the second one, right? Nice. Okay, we got there. Cool. 80 experience points. Our first big one. Haha, we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. I explore back here? Ooh, I can. Nice. Ooh, another vest? And gold. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now they both have an adventure thing on. Okay. Very cool. Perfect, right? Because this is where we were trying to get to. Cool, magic bridge. Eat. Ooh, are these the bad guys? Four. Things are starting to move. I am eager to see what these two can do, says two. Eager and impatient, too. One, for now we wait. Okay. We got a so they've got a big punchy guy, sword and shield guy, dual wielder, and some sort of staff guy. Okay. Three, you know what to do. Interesting. They all have three eyes, or is that like the mask that makes it look like they have three eyes? Okay, what's this? Can we get... Unglow Lake. The music, so good. Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? Ooh, okay. So that's better than what I have. Fruit you eat when the situation calls for vegetables. Crisp and refreshing. Reliable base for carbohydrated meals. Hilarious. Potato, nourishing and easy to grow. Onion adds depth of flavor when used lightly. Okay, well I can afford both of these. Yeah. Oh, dude. Great. Great mechanic. Just immediately get a sell it. Goaded. The game's goaded again. Okay, and he didn't have any. Cool. Okay, so there's two fishies I can catch. I'm guessing I can catch them. I thought I hit him against the rock. Okay, that's just... Oh wait, my... Lunar Trout, okay. Might as well flay it. to go that far. How do I make it not... Uh, okay. That's how. Oh, do I need to keep... I need to keep it in the sweet spot. Okay. Man of War. You, how do you fillet a jellyfish? Okay, cool. I caught both. Perfect. I'm the best. Our Man of War is like super deadly jet. Well, I guess it's just their stingers, right? Well, that's funny. You can walk. You don't even have to walk on the path if you don't want to. Okay. Solstice Shrine. Locked. Okay, good to know. There's a save point there. Out of secret entrance. Noted. Okay, very cool. I like this overworld thing. 
do wish we walked a little faster. It's not like the end of the world, obviously, but. All right, hey, here we are. We made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? And to us at the camp again. There we go. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. Just wish Garl was here. You could certainly use some Celestial Willow, willow Jam to go with this awful bread. Haha, <laughs> the dream. <laughs> Celestial Willow Jam? <laughs> it's our boy! Oh, his eyes all messed up. I've got some right here, guys. I even picked some mushrooms. You won't believe this soup I'll make. <gasps> oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right. Garl! It's our boy. What, you didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Garl! Haha, uh -huh, it's so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why don't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing, gathering, and cooking. What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. He's been training too, though, guys. You can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. This is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook. I love the music. It's so upbeat. Oh yeah? Sure am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be Fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally, you haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... I'll know when to step aside, don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... yeah. See, you need me. Just do your solstice warrior duties and I'll keep your bellies full. Carl. Deal? Okay, deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way, this is awesome. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I'll start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. Carl, the warrior cook, joins the party. Have a little soup there. And so apparently after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic and be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. First assignment is to get to Wrath Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Power sounds so cool. Can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, girl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Yeah, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the new world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? 
Uh huh. So how much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there are ingredients everywhere if you know where to look. And who knows what we'll find? It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Valerie? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. I freaking knew it. I called it. I mean, it was pretty obvious, but... Nice. Three berries. Three berries. Look at that. I'm a berry fiend. Didn't feel right without Garl. Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Nice. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Cook. Let me cook. Oh, I can only cook one. I don't because it takes five. Ooh. The sound effect is so nice. Berry jam. Looks like I can hold seven out of ten. See, you're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tips, girl. That's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Carl, I'm really glad you're here. Uh, I was just about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Fade to black. Good morning. You all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this Elder Mist looks like. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. Okay, perfect. Well, hey, this looks like the perfect time to end the video for part one. So one, thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe so you see when the next video comes out. And um, yeah, hope to catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for the support. Talk to you.